C3 AI reliability, as we've mentioned, is a rich application that includes several modules supporting different user personas and their workflows, including asset health monitoring, sensor health, case and work order management, asset onboarding and configuration, diagram parsing, and end-to-end -end data and model configuration. All of this via the application UI. The navigation panel on the left side shows a preview of all of these different modules. I will focus on alerting and case management and generative AI, and in a few minutes, we will demonstrate some of the new capabilities and other modules and workflows. I'm on the overview page now, and as a reliability engineer, this gives me a comprehensive view of the health of my system. The KPI tiles are configurable to the needs of business and operations users, and in this example, they highlight important metrics such as open alerts, high-risk assets, and case and work order status. As you continue down the page, the process flow diagram highlights the health of each system. Here we see stoplight indicators of red, yellow, and green, which show me the current AI-driven status of each asset. And the most recent alerts panel gives me the view of the AI risks and current alerts. Continuing down, I wanted to point out our sensor health module. Sensor health alerts are automatically configurable out of the box and bring a view of which sensors may be faulty or malfunctioning. This helps me identify and distinguish between true asset problems that require follow-up and potential sensor measurement issues. At the bottom of the page, I can also see a running list of cases that have been created within the application, and the case management system enables us to fully collaborate on investigations. To begin my workflow, I'm interested in understanding the reliability risk for my compressor and gas turbine. So I'm gonna click on this combustion system alert and investigate any underlying issues. This will open my alert detail page for my combustion system alert. This is the evidence package for the AI alert. At the top of the screen, I see things like the top contributing features and the top failure modes associated with this alert. And the alert page also gives me a detailed intuitive package of things like feature contributions and failure modes. So as I proceed down, I see the feature contribution chart, which shows me the sensors that have the highest contribution to my alert. I can also see the description, the contribution percentage, and importantly in this table, I see the actual sensor reading, readings at the time of the alert and the expected value, which comes from the ML models that are predicting what the value should be based on normal operations. Below this, I have my failure modes. The feature contributions to the alert are linked to failure modes via pre-configured asset templates and failure modes libraries. I can see that the top failure mode is a gas fuel system problem. And when I click into this, I'm also able to see recommended actions that come in the failure mode library. I can mark these as helpful or not helpful and take a note to follow up with my team later on these recommended actions. Continuing with my investigation, I have additional charting capabilities that allow me to analyze the asset performance and determine if the alert is valid. The risk score area plot shows me the risk over time with the evolution of feature contributions. And the sensor values time series chart allows me to plot any of the relevant sensors for the asset and the predicted values from the model. On this chart, I can hover over trend lines to see what has changed over time or I can plot and remove sensors from the view by simply clicking on them in the legend. As I do this, I can compare the actual values from the sensors with the predicted values from the model and see where I have major deviations that may be indicative of a true problem. This helps me validate if the alert is correct or if I want to mark this as an erroneous alert. Scrolling back up the page, the integration of generative AI into the reliability application helps me to add additional elements to my investigation. Here, I can open a side panel to ask questions of my data and documents in natural language, and Generative AI will use an LLM to retrieve these as well. So I'm gonna ask about the top failure mode. What are the indicators of a gas fuel system problem on my combustion system? And our integration with C3 Generative AI uses an LLM to understand and interpret the question, and it also uses a retrieval model to identify the relevant information and generate answers based on the data and documents that we have made available to it. I see here the answer gives me several indicators of a gas fuel system problem on a combustion system, including things like individual burned areas or a dirty and faulty fuel burner nozzle, 
and several other pieces of information. I can review this and I can expand the view and ask follow-up questions as well. With integrated C3 Generative AI, I am able to see the sources of the answer and hovering over them, I get a preview of the section where the answer was retrieved. I can also click into these sources and I will be taken directly to the portion of the document, in this case, the combustor diagnostics table where the information was pulled. As you can see in the answer, I also get some guidance on what to look for in the data, such as an increase in fuel pressure and a large spread in the exhaust temperature, which is very helpful when analyzing the sensor data to validate the alert. So now that I have reviewed this alert, I'm convinced that it is a valid AI alert and I wanna move forward with my case management workflow. So I can create a case, which will link the alert to the case, and I can give it lots of information, including a name, priority, add commentary, and even assign it to one of my colleagues for follow-up investigation. There's several other pieces of information I can add about the alert and the case, including marking the alert as a true or false positive. So I'm gonna skip uh, the rest of the optional information and click continue, and here my case will be opened. C3 AI Reliability provides an end-to-end -end integrated case management workflow. From here, I can review uh, the recent case activity for everything I just created, the linked alerts and top failure modes, the alert details, failure modes and recommended actions, and I can collaborate with my colleagues. So I can add files, screenshots, tables, charts, and comments, and tag colleagues to continue our investigation. Additionally, I can easily create a work order to initiate action for our field team. In summary, I've shown how C3 AI Reliability incorporates machine learning to identify risk at the equipment level, provides evidence packages, failure modes, and time series charting and analysis for me to determine if the alert is valid, incorporates generative AI to assist with that evidence package analysis and troubleshooting, and has failure modes and recommended actions and full case management to collaborate on investigations.